Hi guys, and back to a other little small talk about what topic? Gear, gear, gear. Yes, I want to speak about gear. Gear is not only for cars, for the gear shift, it's stuff for me. Um, I want to tell something what I use of gear. Uh, maybe I put some pictures. I uh, hope I can do it. Um, maybe uh, I try to put some pictures so you can see it better. First of all, um, yes, what gear? I started very easy. I wear normally workwear, workwear. Not I'm. Yes, I'm a worker guy. I'm a handyman. I work as a cutting machine operator. Uh, but in the, my free time, I like to wear casual workwear gear, with, for example, BDU pants, cargo pants with huge pockets, um, where I can put my stuff inside, my purse, my money, my thinky things, cables, for example, this, and other stuff. Um, I have much stuff in my pockets, a phone, uh, my player, every free player, and... And I wear uh, some BDU pants. It looks like the um, normally BDU army pants. Um, I maybe try to show you a picture. Uh, it's called Hel uh, my pants are from Helicontex. These pants are very great, robust. I wear mostly black or navy. Um, I like pants with huge pockets um, because they I can stuff uh, put stuff. Uh, inside I have only on my on me I am not a guy who wear a uh, extra bag I don't need it often extra bag um, I am not the guy who wear normal jeans where I put in the uh, back pocket uh, my um, wallet and so um, that is why I use this cargo pants most cargo pants I have big po big um, uh, big outside pockets I don't know the name really for these pockets. Um, shirts are normally, I wear most long sleeves like this, or short sleeves, shorts, uh, short shirts, normally t-shirts, and sometimes some workwear shirts or uniform shirts. I'm a guy who like this little bit loosey, relaxed, more uh, style. I'm not, I myself, I'm a bit not choppy. I, I'm not fat. I'm more a big. I'm a big guy, um, and that is why I wear like this typical loosey fit and relax fit um, gear. Uh, it's called of uh, the relax cut or uh, the relax fit. Um, I don't like the skinny thing. That is the first thing. The gears have to be very robust. Yeah. Um, the reason is I often go fishing with this gear here in Hamburg or in other countries or I use this gear for my DIY stuff at home, at my parents' home or at buddy's home and I need pockets. So um, I don't like this, I'm not the guy who go to every trend, um, I have my own style and that's okay. Jackets. I jackets, parkas, a very big part. I like to wear fat parkas, big parkas, long parkas. I need their robust and various dirty things too. Um, I wear sometimes I wear parkas from the company Canada Goose. Um, Non-stop uh, dog wear, um, Engelbert Strauss, Helle Hansen, Mammut. Polartec, many kind. I have many, many, many uh, kind of brands, vendors. I'm not a fixed guy who use only this pack, only this is the best. I, I have my feeling, my mind saying, hey, this pack is good, this pack is not good. Um, that are why, why I use this. Then um, I need gear or I need parka jackets. They are sturdy enough to have, um, or not sturdy. I need parka sturdy enough to use it outside, outdoor, for my fishing, hiking trips, when it's rainy. I have there some special jackets and uh, parkas from Mountain Method in Climb 8. These parkas are great. 
and very, very sturdy. I show you it on the picture that you can see what I mean. Um, what is the thing? Um, this outdoor park has in jackets and stuff, pants included, uh, a very big part of me, maybe I want to uh, little video about this or other video, what kind of gear I use, for example, for my sailing trip. That is the other part. I need I use sailing gear, for example, from Helle Hansen and Musto. Not uh, by the way, I not be sponsored from this. It's my own um, experience what I use. Maybe I have to clear uh, describe and declare this in YouTube. Um, but I use this gear for my fishing and offshore special offshore sailing trips too. And there is the my. Um, my word, my phrase, I, I need quality. I, yes, I can buy my uh, cheaper gear from by Decathlon or Sport House, Shoe Store, or Intersport, or uh, Sport House Shoe Store is not as cheap, Intersport or CNA. Um, but I need it, I need it for my work. I have to feel myself very, very good. Um, that is why I spent more money. For this. this is the other point I want to uh, describe. Yes, gear, for example, wear, wearing gear or gear to wear is not cheap. I spend a lot of money and time to research what kind of gear I use or what I can, I, gear I can use for my purpose use case. Um, Sometimes, okay, I can get cheap gear, but it's, we are not happy with this. That is so. Um, the other point of kind of gear is my filming gear. It's beside of this wearing gear, I have nice filming gear, expensive filming gear, because I want uses for my filming work. I work for other guys as a camera operator. Um, I pick cherry pick cameras, lenses, tripods, gear stuff, uh, grip, not from brands, not especially um, for, from reviews or tests from other guys. Um, I mix all of them. I read reviews, I see reviews, I um, hear about this from friends and buddies, the knowledge, and sometimes I ordered it, test it, and I send it back why I don't like it because it's too um, not sturdy or too complicated to use. For example, I have many, many cameras. There, in my opinion, there's not the best camera of the world. I tested from Canon up to Sony, Panasonic, Fuji, many, many cameras for my filming work. For photography, there's another other topic. For filming, for example, and I find out Sony is for me work the best. For other guys, they say, "Hey, I use more Canon." It's for me okay. Um, in the in the end, the the result is important. It not it cannot work for me. For example, I get a, a very high end, expensive camera, for example, from Panasonic, and I don't like to use it because of the menu is very complicated, or the the accessory does not fit. I pick my whole universe. Um, for the camera on myself. And that is my special my knowledge. I, I try to use my knowledge, the review from other guys, the speaking with other guys, which camera fits to me the best. This is for example, I use sometimes my red DSMC one and two cameras, and in the future red Ranger for big filming or for documentary style or for work. Um, with other cinematic filmmakers or pro order writers. This camera now I use for vlogging is my Sony A7R3. It's okay, nice for vlogging, for my do filming, it's okay. For speaking, I speak directly in the cam, not big fancy light or I use a normally lens, nothing special. Um, for filming, okay. Um, I use this camera for photography too. There's why I use this Sony i7 R Mark III. 
I like the high resolution. First, I want crop in the picture, and second, I want printed. I can, I, in my company where I work, I can print it out of a very huge uh, DOS printer, a P6 is that maybe. I have to uh, show you a picture from this printer. A very huge high-end printer and um, great machine. And there I need this high resolution. I like to print uh, pictures. Uh, I like to hang it out at buddies, at a family house, sometimes here. And I like to present pictures on my screen here in the back when I, um, some guys are here. We do a little like a cinema, cinema evening, a cinema um, meeting, and so. And that is why I use this high resolution cam. Uh, for web, I crop the pictures down and post it up by, by many Twitter and Facebook and this typical stuff. It's, this is my, why I use the Sony camera. Um, I work in the past often with Nikon, D, the D8, the D800 was. Uh, the shutters died, so I said, okay, bye bye Nikon. I, knew, I get a new complete set. And now I like the picture and the look from the Sony. And that is the end why I'm now at the Sony Universe. Um, there are some hints that are not perfect, but I said in the past, or oh, again, there is no perfect camera. And this phrase or these words are for all things I, I describe. There's no perfect computer system, there's no perfect operation system, there's no perfect projector, screen or surround system, or for example gear, uh, sailing gear example or expedition gear. It is more what you, especially you like to wear. And in my eyes, or my thing is, you can pick from many sources your information, from the web, from books, from magazines, from YouTube videos, from other guys, from the shop, to make a brainstorming, what, what can I buy? What is for my value? Good. For example, I want to buy um, a kitchen appliance. Um, do I need a high-end kitchen appliance, like a very expensive um, machine for do cutting, or do I need high-end cutting knives? Or I can use the knives from the supermarket or from the um, normally a uh, city store. You have to think about it. If you cook casually, and cook normally meals, and uh, cook um, normally stuff, you no don't need high-end butcher knives or special cook knives. You need a basic good quality knives. You have tested the knives, and you, your feeling through the knives uh, are have to good. I can show a picture what knives I use. I use for myself Dick, F Dick uh, uh, knives. Um, they are chief knives, the good knives. Why I use this? Easily. I cook much things. I cook often fish, meat. I um, buy big piece of meat and cut out my pieces, for example. Um, we call it goulash, <laughs> or for steaks, example, I want to do sparrows, for example. Sparrows, I cut for myself sparrows. I buy a big part of the body from the pig, this, this uh, rib part and belly part, and then I cut with a special knife um, the ribs out. It's called Ausbeiner. Ausbein Messer is the term, German word for this uh, knife. I don't know the... Uh, English word, maybe I'll show you a picture of what, what knife I mean. Um, that is the thing why I need this bit expensive more knives. The other guy or other people don't need the knives so expensive. They spend the money for other gear. This is the topic of this video. For example, gaming gear. For myself, I never buy a high-end gaming mice or a gaming set, mice and keyboard, or a gaming chair. I need a normally, properly 
uh, chair, a normally proper uh, gay, uh, mouse and uh, keyboard system. And I don't need this fancy gaming thing. I need quality. The reason is I don't often game. On the other side, I cook more. That is why I need this high-end stuff for knives. Or I go sailing. That is why I need the high-end sailing gear. And or do filming now. That is, that is the problem where I see often in forums and uh, many in, pay, in groups at Facebook. Hey, buy this, buy this, buy this. I tell you can buy it, but mostly you you have to decide which is the best for you, which fits your in your value, in the money, in your place, and in your daily routine. So, example. And what do you want to do? Uh, a normally vlogger does need a red DSMC 2 or the Red Ranger. It's more he needs, uh, they, the vloggers need a normally camera. On the other side, uh, a filmmaker uh, does need a GoPro or, or a webcam, for example. Some cases, maybe the look, but normally a documentary uh, filmmaker uses normally a, a, a shoulder cam, an ENG cam or similar. Cameras. That's an example. The last part of this topic gear is um, a special thing for me is the tools. The right tool for the right work or the right work for the right tool. I don't know. <laughs> um, the right tool for the right work. Um, the, I'm a guy who buy value gear, a good quality gear um, equal to the good price. I like high-end stuff, but I'm not the guy who buy, for example, speaker wires, it costs 1,000 each meter. That is, for my, my, my case, stupid. I don't need it. I have my proper value cable. So I don't buy high-end cable or specialty cables with specially function, for example, uh, magical my wires as so many stuff in the high end high fee or I don't buy a specially gaming mouse uh, I can game with a normally good mouse I have a Logitech mouse a very a good one and normally keyboard and normally monitor as money normally screen for gaming this is okay I don't mean like I have um, the right tool for the right work um, I need my monitors for my filming work, I need my keyboard, I need a very responsible keyboard um, for my filming work. My uh, editing rig is high-end, yes, I have a very high uh, core count of CPU, around 32 uh, cores, 122 gig RAM, um, two one terabyte SSDs, NVMe, and uh, yes, it sounds crazy in the RTX Titan. If somebody say, why I need, why you need this guy RTX Titan? Get easy. It's the right tool for the right work. This RTX Titan is so expensive, but I need this horsepower to work with DaVinci Resolve for grading, because I grade my stuff myself. And I cannot use a cheap graphic cards or GPU. The, the graphics has died under this workload completely. And um, that is the reason why I use this expensive card. The card is extremely expensive. Um, I ordered in it for a long, long time. But I need it. I needed this high-end card for my very video stuff and related stuff for this. Yes, long video again. I hope you understand a bit me. I try to my best to speak English. Mm, some uh, one body say, "Why do you not do this in German?" Yeah, it's okay. I can do it in German, but most guys does not understand German, and so I try my English best. So. And again, it's my opinion. It's more a small talk video. I want to tell you my experience and that is why I do this video. I will not do an influencing thing. I will not do that you have good one way. I want to tell you my experience, how I get things, how work, uh, how I work with these things. And so, um, so I hope you like it. 
if you have questions or comments or you want to know more about one topic, for example, hey, can you speak more about cooking things? Or can you describe why I use an RTX Titan uh, for my, um, uh, for my uh, RTX Titan, for my video work? Or why use this, this thing? Can you, or can you recommend a good tripod? I can recommend it, but I will not um, equal, equal control you. Hey, you must buy this. I said, you, you, please understand, you can buy this. And you can test it for you, not I say it. That is for me important. And that is why I want to try to help all of you. And uh, I hope you like it. Thumbs up, questions, subscribe. I say bye-bye and stay safe and positive. Bye-bye.